Well, we're back again. You, you look like Nanook of the North. <laughs> Cortez, I'm gonna be in the heated cab. She's gonna be out there. We got about only six or eight inches of snow. Uh, but you'll see we've got drifts that, well, here in front of the barn are as much as two feet. And it's about 23 degrees, which isn't so bad, except we got about a 30 mile an hour wind. So let's say it now, four tests. But that's how much she loves you guys to get you guys some good videos. All right, let's go to work. So you'll see where we are down to the pavement in a lot of the driveway. It's just we've got these big drifts. February 7th, February 18th, I think it is. Um, and this is only our second snow event of the year. I think if, if you've not seen, um, we put out uh, what I thought were some pretty good videos on the first one. You might want to check those out. A couple of my kids are out, so. I'm going to try to get this area right away before they get back. before I absolutely love the auto throttle when you need more power just like your car all you do is press on the accelerator pedal I'm actually just above uh, low idle because that's what I said to have the throttle set at and uh, when I want to accelerate you can hear the engine Just great. I mean, it's just absolutely fantastic. So here's the thing. This wind that Cortez is fighting right now is out of the southwest. And we've talked before. We get lake effect snow here. And we have had such a warm winter. So Lake Erie is not frozen at all. Lake Ontario almost never freezes, it's too deep. And though it's been warm, they come across the relatively warm waters of Lake Erie and um, pick up the moisture. Because the atmosphere is cold, it drops it in snow in bands, very, very narrow bands.
I'm back dragging this. Because again, there's noise. So I'm not that concerned. Boy, Tess is such a trooper. You know, she never complains about doing this. You know, she always wants to get good videos for you guys. All right, let's start working on the approach. I was born and raised here in Buffalo, living in Florida, and we just got to talking. She was not crazy about Florida. I sure wasn't. And we wanted to go someplace that had a change of seasons. In the Philippines, she really had nothing like that. We started talking about going to North Georgia because I was familiar with that area. I used to actually own a cabin there. And one thing led to another, and I brought up about going to Buffalo, about coming back home. And typical Tess, she was all in. So, we bought a house online, sight, well not sight unseen, on the internet. We flew to Buffalo on her birthday on January 5th. Now this is someone that's never seen snow in her life. We got here, there's about a foot of snow on the ground. We were here for four days and it never got above four degrees, which is rather unusual for Buffalo, by the way. I thought, no way is this girl gonna do this. Her only comment, coming out of a restaurant one night at minus four was, this is a winter wonderland, I love it. <laughs> amazing, absolutely amazing. That's it. The driveway's plowed. You were awesome. It was cold. <laughs> it was cold. We'll see you next time on Tractors in Life. God bless you all, and thank you so much for watching.